What's up, you guys? My name is Miriam with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future, re for future readings. Ah. This is a free general collective reading. Top six side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only keep the messages that resonate. Okay, so I got a channel message in, so I decided to share it. Uh, you only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, but the channel message I received was, um, now hopefully it's not you. It may be. I mean, there's like almost um, 10,400 people on here. We're teetering 10-4. So it may be you or it may be somebody else. But I heard a uh, fire, a sex-addicted sex fire sign is about to find out they have HIV soon. And I heard adult, specifically adult. So um, that's specific and important for somebody out there. It's not a child. Um, that was very clear from the spiritual realm. It is an adult. A very sex-addicted fire sign. So they, it could be masculine or feminine fire sign. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Medina, Jupiter, some charts. Um, but I heard, and they're very sex-addicted, so they love to roll in the hay. Um, and probably with many partners. Um, uh, pro I mean, sex addictions, people that have sex addictions, usually, I mean, they do. They have multiple partners. They they're addicted so they have to have it so some of them usually um, sometimes pay, pay prostitutes because they are so sex addicted they just cannot get it out of their head uh, it's like a mental thing and a physical thing with a feeling and all that and they just gotta have it so some of them pay prostitutes um, and just for, for and some are prostitutes um, because they make money and they are addicted so I mean you know, you have to plug it in how it resonates. It could be a fire sign you know, or it could be you. Um, I'm not sure. But it's some kind of sex-addicted fire sign. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, maintain, and Jupiter charts. But I heard they're about to find out they have HIV. Um, HIV. So anybody doesn't know, HIV turns into AIDS if it um, down the line. Eventually it does. Um, there is medical treatment out there for HIV. Um, there is. Um, definite treatment. But... Um, but it can turn into AIDS down the line, and it's very, very, very serious. You can get it through needle sharing, or you could get it through um, um, needle sharing as in dirty needles or drug use. Or you can get it through sexual intercourse, um, vaginal, anal, or oral, um, just saying the saying. And um, you also can get it through um, mother baby, mother baby um, transmission as well. But in this situation, I don't feel it's mother baby for sure feel it's either um, sexual, I heard sex addicted, so I'm thinking it's sex. Um, or it could be uh, maybe if this fire sign does, is addicted to drugs as well, which I didn't hear they are, it could be through needle sharing and drugs. Um, just saying, just saying. Because sometimes if you have one addiction, sometimes you have many. Sometimes. I mean, of course, everybody's on a different time on my past. You have to you know, plug it in how it resonates. But um, so anyways, but it's an Aries Leo Sag. Uh, adult. Adult, and um, they're about to find out they have HIV. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, that's oh Lord. It is going to piss this person off. They are very, very, very selfish. Okay, I heard it's going to piss this person off. They are very, very, very selfish. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, it's a very selfish fire sign. Um, um, I heard it's going to piss them off. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. And one of these fire signs, after they find out they have it, they're going to keep living their current lifestyle and they're going to end up in a lawsuit because they're going to give someone else HIV. Oh, oh my God! Wow! So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God! Okay, so it's at least two fire signs out in the universe. At least two, um, very sex addicted fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, oh, I heard they basically. Um, mm, this is terrible. One, uh, it sounds like one's gonna stop. One is going to find out. It sounds like they're going to exhibit some kind of symptoms or they're going to be alarmed in some shape or fashion to get them to go get a ST, um, sexual transmitted disease test, STD test is what I'm feeling. 
um, or they're going to find out through lab work or something of that nature. Something like that is what I'm feeling. But however that resonates, they're going to go get a test. They're going to go get tested, STD tested. Um, and once they find out, uh, one of them, it sounds like they're going to stop. They're going to stop um, or they're going to notify their partner um, or if they, they're sex addicted, so they probably have many partners. But if they have one partner, hopefully they do the right thing. So I'm going to say it sounds like one's going to do the right thing and notify the sexual partners that um, they have it to give them the choice. You know, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, just saying, uh, because people that knowingly go out, that have HIV and they know, knowingly go out and have sex with people, um, they can end up in lawsuits from the other people because they didn't tell them they had HIV. And that's the truth. Because HIV can kill, it can. If it turns into AIDS, it can kill you. Um, of course, um, we've come a long way in treatment over the years, a long way in treatment over the years for HIV, but it's, it still can. And, um, and that's the truth, especially if you don't notify your sexual partner. And that's, the, I mean, it's the truth. Um, but I heard one is going to end up in a lawsuit down the line because they're not going to quit their behavior. So they're just going to go out and keep doing whatever the hell they want to do, knowing they have HIV. I heard they're going to give it to somebody down the line and they're going to end up suing them. So it's going to energetically boomerang back on their ass because they didn't do the right thing and tell their sexual partner or partners, probably partners, that they have it. And so it's going to um, energetically boomerang back on them in the form of a lawsuit because that person's going to be pissed when they get HIV from that person, from that fireside. Um, and yeah, I would say so. Share messages you have reflected. Wake up call in harmony. That's what we got. Movement on the bottom of the deck. Reversed. It is going to make these fire signs feel very, very, very stuck. But one is going to be too, too impulsive. And they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. Oh my God. Okay, so we have two two fire signs in here. One is, um, sounds like they're going to quit doing what they're doing or notify the people, their sexual partners. It sounds like they're going to do the right thing. One fire sign. You could be this fire sign or somebody connected to this fire sign. The other fire sign I heard is going to um, just keep doing what they're doing. They're going to be very impulsive. They're just going to keep doing it. They're going to live in their life. They're going to be party, 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 sex, sex, sex. Maybe shoot up, shoot up, shoot up. Whatever the hell they're doing. They're going to keep doing the thing. Um, and that's the one that's going to result in a lawsuit down the line is what I'm feeling. Um, so lots of impulsive energy for this one still. This one's going to get a huge wake up call. I heard they're going to, they're both going to feel stuck, but this one is not very respectful of other people's um, boundaries or, um, or other people in period. They just love to live the fast life apparently. And um, it's going to energetically backfire on them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So movement reverse, stuck, stagnant activity. Once the wake up call comes for the um, uh, the positive HIV result. That's what I'm feeling here. But you plug it in, how it resonates. And then harmony. I'm, I'd love to, let's see if we hear anything. Lord. Wake up calls were definitely needed for these fire signs. It's going to create balance in the universe. Okay, I heard wake up calls were definitely needed for these fire signs. It's going to create balance in the universe. So in this situation, the harmony is the um, um, balance in the universe. Balance in the universe. One of these fire signs is a mu is a mu musician, very famous musician. One is a very famous basketball player. Oh Lord! Oh my God! Ooh. Okay, I heard one's a very famous musician and one's a very famous basketball player. So, um, oh Lord, we're pulling in celebrity energy in here. Okay, so one's a very famous musician and one's a very famous basketball player. And then other fire signs. Um, you don't have to be a celebrity. Um, you don't have to be an NBA uh, star over here. I didn't hear I didn't hear NBA. 
Um, but I've heard very famous basketball players. So um, if they're not, it could either be like WNBA or NBA or um, or not. Maybe they're college. Maybe they're college basketball players. I'm not sure. But they're very famous and in the public eye, the basketball player, the Firestone basketball player. Um, one, and one is a famous musician. And I didn't hear who it is. I'm just saying, just saying. And then whoever the other fire signs in the universe that are not famous basketball players or famous musicians. Um, however, that resonates. But um, wake up call energy for sure, for sure, for sure. I heard um, in the balance, the harmony is the balance in the universe here. So wake up call energy. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Holy crap. Man, this is strong. Some are married. Some are in committed relationships. But this is not where they're getting, getting it from. It's about to create chaos in their life. Oh, see, and this is another reason why I don't want to be in a relationship. Because of shit like this. And I'm serious. People are too nasty and not chasey and sneaky in the damn universe. And that's the truth. Okay, so one of, uh, okay. So, I'm assuming the basketball player and the musician, and it may the other, uh, us regular Janes and Joes, maybe whoever these in, um, fire signs are, um... Whether you're a celebrity or not, whether you're a mu musician, famous basketball player or not, somebody in this situation is either married or in a committed relationship. But I heard that's not where they're about to acquire the HIV from. So I'm thinking from a situationship, a third party, secret rendezvous, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's not going to be from the committed partner or the married partner. It's from somebody else they're about to acquire it from. Um, oh, my God. Woo. Okay. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Okay, yeah, I'm getting out of this energy. All right, love you guys. Namaste.